Welcome back to Morning Joe. We now want to read from David Frum's new piece titled, Zelensky Recalled Us to Ourselves. And David writes in part this, maybe our ideals were not so out of date. Maybe our institutions were not so broken. Maybe the people the Ukrainians needed to be, maybe those were the people we could be again. What the Western world is getting in return for its aid to a powerful recommitment to be its own best self. We didn't believe Ukrainians could do it, in part because we didn't believe we could do it. But they did. And so did we. And we now look at both Ukraine and ourselves in new ways. The extremists and conspiracy theorists, the populists, the authoritarians, the kleptocrats, the theocrats who have gained so much ascendancy in recent years, they do not speak for us. Sometimes Americans forget that. And Richard, I have spent my adult life. Uh, David, let me go to you first and then Richard. David, I've spent my adult life. I met you as a young man when I first got to Washington. I met you one of the first days I got into Washington almost 30 years ago, and we, we had a talk. Since that time, I have spent my adult life telling Americans it's going to be okay. Madisonian democracy will see us through. Our court system will see us through. Our military will see us through. How many people told me Donald Trump would never leave the White House? And I had to say, you just don't know the men and women of the United States military. And you don't know people in the Secret Service, do you? Bad apples? Yeah, there's some bad apples. But you don't understand the essence of America. And let me expand that out. You don't understand the essence of Western civilization. Yes, I just said it. Western civilization, like all civilizations, terrible sense in our background that we should confront every day to become a better people. But let's remember, we, just we as a nation, we Americans, we have fed and freed more people than any country in the history of this planet, and we have done it with our most steadfast allies in Britain and across the, in France, across the West. And you are right. That's something that we forget too easily in these days of, of podcasts and cable news shows and screeching uh, uh, editorials and screeching social media posts. We still, we, we still are resolved to spread freedom across the globe and to help our brothers and sisters in Ukraine. Well, it, it was touch and go for some minutes. And one of the sim yep. symbolic significances of President Zelensky is he's a man who has defied not only Putin, but also Donald Trump. Um, that if it had been up to Donald Trump, he would have squeezed Zelensky, broken him, and used him to corrupt the American political system. That's what the first Donald Trump impeachment was about. It was about Trump's attack on Zelensky. And I think a big part of the rage that the pro-Trump forces and the remains of the Trump family expressed toward Zelensky on social media everywhere they can is their awareness that he stood up to Trump and because and that he foiled Trump's scheme and the whole Hunter Biden that's the epilogue to the, the big play which was to break Zelensky and use him as a weapon in American politics and Zelensky refused he defied Trump and that was our first indication of the measure of Zelensky's courage and leadership he would not go along with one bully and then he turned around and was and he led his nation to fight an even more dangerous, more heavily armed, well, more aggressive bully in, in Vladimir Putin. Yeah, I agree. We, you know, we may have uh, dodged uh, something of a bullet, to say the least, here domestically. I also think there's been some salutary international consequences. Joe, and you were getting at it. One is it's a reminder that there still is a West. Second of all, that American leadership still counts, not leading from behind. We've actually led from ahead here. The, Europe would not have done much of what it did without the United States, which shows the value of American leadership. It shows the centrality of alliances. Essentially, a lot of the things, a lot of the policies that, that led to the Cold War, 
ending on terms that were so supportive of our interests and values, we're seeing a, something of a revival of those things. And I think that's important. And it makes the case, again, across the political spectrum, that the United States has to st stay involved. It gets back to Zelensky's line. Not as a favor to others, not as a form of philanthropy, but as the best way right. to protect ourselves, our interests, and our values here at home. That's the lesson that has to right. be repeated again and again and again.